There are two types of tests that fertility experts use to monitor an early pregnancy. Blood tests to look at your HCG levels and ultrasound to look at a developing pregnancy. HCG levels can help predict a pregnancy that is going to miscarry. I covered that topic in this video. Today, I'm going to discuss using ultrasound to predict miscarriage. Stay tuned. There are four important structures that doctors look for on ultrasound during early pregnancy. The first is called a gestational sac. It is a collection of fluid formed by the cells of the developing placenta. The gestational sac in a normal pregnancy should be visible when a woman's HCG level is 2000 or more. Measuring the diameter of the gestational sac roughly corresponds to how far along the pregnancy has developed. We call it an empty gestational sac if there are no other structures inside. In other words, only fluid is seen. The next structure that becomes visible is called the yolk sac. This appears as a white ring located inside the gestational sac. The diameter of the yolk sac can also be measured. I'll tell you why a little later. Next up is the fetus itself. On ultrasound, the developing fetus is small, white, and shaped like a bean. When we see the developing fetus, we will measure how long it is. This is referred to as the crown rump length, or CRL. The last thing that becomes visible are the pulsations of a couple of tubes, which will eventually become the heart. For simplicity, we just call this the fetal heartbeat, but these tubes don't actually form into a heart, for several more weeks. We can divide ultrasound findings in early pregnancy into those that are suspicious that a miscarriage might occur and those findings that definitely mean that a pregnancy is no longer viable and will miscarry. There are four times when we can say a pregnancy is definitely not viable. Number one, you have measured the gestational sac diameter. It is 25 millimeters or more but there is no fetus visible. Number two, if two or more weeks have passed since you saw an empty gestational sac and you still do not see a fetus with a heartbeat. Number three, if you did see a sac with a yolk sac on an earlier ultrasound, but still do not see a fetus with a heartbeat 11 or more days later. And finally, number four, you have measured the fetus crown rump length. It is seven millimeters or bigger and there is no fetal heartbeat. In all four of these examples, there is no chance that you will go on to have a live-born baby. You might not experience symptoms of a miscarriage, however. Sometimes, a non-viable pregnancy can hang out in the uterus for days, weeks, or months without you ever knowing that anything is wrong. There are many, many times when we doctors are suspicious that you might have a pregnancy that will miscarry but in these cases, there is still some chance that everything may still turn out okay. Anytime you don't meet the criteria I discussed earlier, there is still a chance. For example, if you don't see a fetus, but the sac only measures 20 millimeters instead of 25 millimeters, you cannot say with certainty that the pregnancy is non-viable. The same applies if you don't see a heartbeat, but the fetus is only measuring five millimeters. There are two other examples that I want you to be aware of. Number one, if the yolk sac seems too big compared to the size of the gestational sac. We know that these women are more likely to have a miscarriage, but sometimes they will go on to deliver. Number two, the heart rate of the fetus is less than 100 beats per minute. In a healthy pregnancy, the heartbeat is usually going to be faster than that. A heartbeat less than 100 means that there is a higher risk for miscarriage. Your doctor will want to keep doing ultrasounds to finally determine if you miscarry or not. Next week, I am going to discuss what you should do if your doctor has diagnosed you with a non-viable pregnancy. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button right now. If you are already a subscriber, tap the notification bell so you won't miss any important episodes. You know what I say, it's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.